Do you want an amazing marriage? Are you ready to take your marriage to the next level? Then stick around for your Marriage Matters podcast with Marriage Coach Lynn. Let's put some fun and sizzle into your relationship. Hi, friends. Please go to my website, www.marriagecoachlynn.com, and take a look at the Sound Relationship House because we are on the last level and this model can change your world. Do you want an amazing marriage? If you could integrate all of the principles in this model, you will have an amazing marriage. We are on the last level, and today we're going to talk about create shared meaning. I've touched upon the surface of these levels in nine previous episodes. We've been at this a long time, it seems. You might want to go deeper by researching certain levels that pose a challenge to you or are of interest. Many couples get stuck on managing conflict and many hardly make it past love maps. Don't let it be you. As you can see, this theory is important to me. I've used it, I've gotten excellent results from it, and it is an awesome foundation for relationships. And if you were to listen to other therapists, other books, read other books, you will see so much integrated into other people's work going by different names and so it's very interesting that I think these philosophies and this foundation it works and it's it's alive and well and it's out there there's no way I wanted to start the, this podcast your marriage matters off simply by diving into random topics about marriage so that's why I've spent several weeks on the sound relationship house when we create shared meaning We are building something valuable. Do you have something valuable in your marriage? Do you want something valuable in your marriage? Have you ever thought, I'm happily married, I'm busy with family and work obligations, our sex life is pretty good, our social life is pretty good, but something, something is kind of missing. Well, perhaps it is shared meaning. That is what you are looking for. How can we have shared meaning in our marriage? What we are talking about is intentionality. If you are intentional about your relationship, if you spend the time and effort on it, if you nurture it, if you create rituals or traditions within your marriage and family, then you are working on shared meaning. Are your goals in sync? Is your mission a joined one? Are you considering what your legacy is. Do you have a family mission statement? Have you written one? Author Stephen Covey has specific guidance on family mission statements. It's a great idea to both sit down and construct one. It forces you to talk about the purpose of your marriage and gives you a blueprint. You can update it every year if needed. When you talk about creating shared meaning, you discuss your roles, your values, and what is important to you. How do you fit in the community? And are you involved in your community? Are you living an ethical, moral lifestyle? What are you doing to help others, whether through philanthropy or volunteerism? Do you care about others who are less fortunate, in need, or disenfranchised? And are you putting your compassion into action? What can you take from your life experiences, including your skills and talents, and blend together to form something new? Creating shared meaning does not necessarily mean that you both have to have the same interests. It means you are headed in the same direction as far as a bigger picture in life. It is about you taking your past and everything you've done up until this point and focusing on doing something great together. It's kind of like saying one plus one equals three, that the two of you together create something spectacular. For example, my husband and I are in alignment with what we see as a bigger picture, marriage, family, childbirth, to name a few. Doctors John and Julie Gottman have been making a big difference in the field of marriage for over 45 years with the Gottman Institute. Five years ago, when I attended their level one training, I got a great idea from them. Every year, they take one or two weeks 
if their schedule permits and if they have the time and they go away and focus on their relationship I decided to do the same thing with my husband so for five years we usually go on a camping trip for two nights and not just spend time together but talk about our dreams and shared meaning we check in with each other as far as love maps and all the things I've been talking about the past 10 episodes here on the Your Marriage Matters podcast. We try to be screen free on our weekends and we engage in intensive conversation and communication. We find it valuable to go away for a weekend and do this so that we're not distracted. We're also able to do a lot of recreational activities. Sometimes we socialize with others on these weekends for a small part of the time, but mainly it's a time for us to share our love and celebrate our love. And after 32 years, we continue to feel a liveliness and excitement about our love. Another couple who has created shared meaning is obvious to me. When I lived in Virginia and was involved in a homeschool co-op group, the leader of the group, Pastor Bob Eggie and his wife Lynette, were the founders of a Capital Baptist homeschool group that has now exceeded 400 families, and I'm sure it's still growing. Pastor Bob did not discriminate among religious affiliations, and he welcomed everyone in their efforts to homeschool their children. He allowed our families and children to gather in the church property, classrooms, outdoor area, main sanctuary, cafeteria, gymnasium, kitchen, all for the greater good of supporting homeschool families. They've been doing this for close to 30 years. They formed a co-op that is very affordable to families with high involvement by families. They also got all seven of their children involved along the way, especially as volunteers behind the scenes to offer all of the support that is needed when you're running a large organization like this. I'm sure their efforts have returned to them 100-fold. They are the epitome of service to families, and in our 14 years of homeschooling in Northern Virginia, This was one of the best co-ops we had the pleasure of belonging to for just a few years. It's obvious that the Eggie family are operating at the highest level of the Sound Relationship House, Create Shared Meaning. What can you do to create shared meaning? Start with sitting down and asking such questions as, what is marriage? Why are we married? What is the purpose of marriage? What's the purpose of our marriage and family? What is love? What is home? What makes for a meaningful home life? Are we living purposefully? What is our purpose as husband, wife, mother, father? What is the meaning of life? The meaning of our life? What are we called to do here on earth? What happens after our lives end? Are we headed in the right direction, separately and together? Would we like to write a mission statement? I don't need to go into detail here. You can look up online the mechanics of creating a family mission statement and pick and choose what is important to you. Many guidelines and questions are provided and the beauty of it is that you can include whatever you'd like. For your assignment this week, consider writing out a family mission statement. It is a great process that involves everyone in the family and if anything, it stimulates good conversation. If a family mission statement does not interest you, then can I suggest that you answer some of the other questions that I posed above or simply answer this question, where are we headed? Thank you for joining me here on Your Marriage Matters. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Marriage Coach Lynn. It is there that you will find the exercise from this episode in a version of this podcast. Until next time, Make your marriage great.